Thank you for attending this product demonstration on Freight SmartLink. My name's Anne from Orchid Systems, and today I'm going to show you how you can manage your freight in Sage 300. But firstly, is Freight SmartLink for you? Do you need to access external systems to calculate your freight charges or to look up your consignment note or tracking number and or to rekey order information when you're shipping goods? And can you easily reconcile your freight carrier invoices and have confidence that you are recovering your freight from your customers? Freight SmartLink gives you a simple way to add freight charges to orders and to capture the consignment note number and costs from carriers and store all this information in Sage 300. There are two main features in Freight SmartLink. The first is to automatically add freight charges to orders. These freight charges can be based on a zone which is linked to the postcode of the delivery address or the ship via of the delivery address. And the charges can be a flat rate or based on the weight of the packages. Freight SmartLink also offers bi-directional integration with multi-carrier or single-carrier freight systems, so you don't have to rekey delivery addresses, the number of packages or the weight of the order, and you can bring back the freight costs and tracking number assigned by the carriers. And all this information is held in your Sage 300 database, which aids reconciliation. But first I'm going to show you how Freight SmartLink can automatically add freight charges to orders. Using Freight SmartLink, you can configure the system to automatically add freight to either orders and or shipments. When you create a sales order, you can either click Calculate Freight, or it can be automatically added when you post the order. But you can also configure the system to make the purchase order number mandatory. So we can see when I posted the order, the freight item was added automatically, and the freight charge of $110 was calculated. You can configure your freight charges to be automatically added to your sales orders and to your sales shipments. And the freight charges can be calculated based on the ship via on the sales order or the postcode on the sales order. And in this database, we are configured to charge the freight based on the ship via. So using our CCT ship via, we link the ship via through to the zones. So the CCT ship via is linked to New South Wales State North. On the zones tab, New South Wales State North is configured such that if the order value is over $2,000, no freight will be charged. There is a handling charge of $10.00. And the freight charge is based on the weight of the order at $20 a kilo, and the maximum charge per kilo is $100. And this is why our freight charge is $110, $100 based on weight as the maximum weight per kilo, plus the $10 handling fee. For the zones, you can charge by weight or you can charge a flat rate if a weight per kilo is not appropriate for that particular zone. In this case, we would be charging a handling charge of $5 and a flat charge for of $15 for the delivery if the order value was less than $1,000. And you can have different freight numbers or non-stock items associated with the freight charge for the different zones, and you can round the pricing. The benefits of automatically adding freight charges to orders means that customers are automatically charged for their freight and it avoids situations where goods go out without the customers paying for their freight. And if you're charging your customers freight on an order by order basis and when you get the freight cost back from the carrier then you can analyse the freight recovery. So we've seen how we can automatically add freight charges to orders. And now we're going to look at the bi-directional integration with a multi-carrier or a single-carrier freight system. 
and we're going to see how we can send the information across to the carrier system without rekeying the delivery address or the number of packages or the weight of the order. And we'll see also how the freight costs and tracking number assigned by the carriers can automatically be imported back against the order. And then the data will be all in one system, which aids analysis and reconciliation. After entering your orders or shipment or invoice, depending which document you send to the carrier, you would go ahead and create a shipment review for that document. A shipment review can be based on an order, shipment or invoice and can indeed be based on multiple documents. So if you want to consolidate orders prior to sending through to the freight carrier, you can do so. But in our case, we're just going to send that order that we've just created. And you can default the required carrier and carrier service on the customer, or you could select it at this stage. So if you could select the carrier from the list of carriers that you have currently available. Or depending on your freight carrier, you could say apply lease cost, in which case you wouldn't define a carrier or a carrier service. The multi-carrier system would choose the appropriate carrier and service for the size package that you're sending. And once we've selected our source document, in this case a sales order, the ship to address details defaults from the order but can be changed at this stage. And what you need to do is say how many containers or pallets or packages that you are sending in this particular consignment. And these freight packages are specific to the carrier that you chose on the first screen. So we're going to say we're sending packs up into uh, three bags and the weight could be defaulted from the bag. So you can say what the maximum weight of a bag is and it would default through, or you could key in the weight at this stage. The shipment review picks up the weight from the sales order and gives you the total weight as per the packages as well. After creating the shipment review and specifying the packages, you can export for the carrier. And in this case, it will be creating a file for the carrier, which will be picked up and the response will be sent back uh, immediately as to what the freight costs and the consignment note number. Or we could configure the system to import that file at a later stage when the system is manifested. If you are importing the consignment note number and freight costs periodically, you can use the import manifest and this will import all the files since it was last ran. Alternatively, you could have clicked import on the shipment review or you could have been configured such that the file gets exported, waited for a few minutes and then import the uh, response back from the carrier. If your carrier has a or multi-carrier system has a web service, then when you go export, the web service is called, the information is transferred through to the carrier or multi-carrier system, and then the response from the multi-carrier system would come back onto the consignment note as the consignment note number and the freight cost would come back as well. And if you've configured the options accordingly, the consignment note comes back onto the original document, in this case the sales order, in the tracking number field, and the freight cost has come into the sales order line. So now that when it gets invoiced, you have both the freight cost and the freight recovered going through to the GL for analysis purposes. And finally, you can use the manifest summary by date range by carrier, which allows you to reconcile all the packages that you have sent for a particular carrier against the file that they send back to you. So if I filter by one carrier for the month, I would have a total of freight cost for the carrier of 696, which I can use to compare against their invoice to us. We have seen using FreightSmartLink 
you no longer need to duplicate the data entry of the delivery details or the package details, both into your 300 system and in the freight carrier system, eliminating errors and saving time. We could have emailed the customer the consignment note details at the time the consignment note number was imported back against the shipment review, allowing the customer to do a self-service on the tracking carrier's website. If your multi-freight system allows you to use least costs, then you can send the package details to your freight carrier system and they can determine which carrier to use and what service to use to save you money. And with all the information being imported back into Sage 300, you've got one central place to aid reconciliation of the freight carrier's invoice. And if you need integrations with different carriers than we currently have, we can use Extender to create the additional carrier system integrations. A little bit about ORCID. We have over 5,000 sites running our modules in over 60 countries. And on average, each customer runs two of our modules. And we're supported by over 400 business partners around the world. We're based in Sydney, Australia, and have had many industry awards for the modules that we write for Sage 300. All the modules are fully integrated with Sage 300, and by that we mean it's developed 100% through the Sage 300 SDK, so it supports all your normal reporting tools, the facilities to back up using a dump and load, and data integrity checks that you get with Sage 300. And we've been in business for over 25 years. We have a number of modules for Sage 300, and they fall into these five large categories, collaboration and business intelligence, automation and productivity, tailoring and integrating your system, streamlining financial processes, and modules in the operations and inventory management. For more details on these modules, and in particular on Freight SmartLink, please go to www.orchid.systems and have a look around on our website. Thank you for watching this video.